Perhaps madness and genius are not separate, but instead one and the same. As Aristotle said, there is no great genius without a touch of madness. When Sun Young Hee and her coach approached us and said, you are filming the future world champion, we couldn't help but awkwardly smile so as to avoid agreeing with such a seemingly outlandish statement. Sun Young Hee is a shining example of the idea that consistency and longevity are what builds highlight reels. Time in the market beats all. Sometimes we see one hit wonders like Tana Sagir, who from 2004 to 2006 was the most exciting name in the sport. Or like Viktor Solodov, who probably 99% of you have never heard of, but who has the fourth highest Sinclair ever behind Naeem, Lasha, and Vardanyan. But Sun Young Hee is like neither of them. The way I see it is that gold medalists fit into three categories. The flash in the pan group who I just mentioned, Tana Sagir and Viktor Solodov. The always the best group, people in the modern era like Lao Hui, Deng Wei, Rezazadeh, Kuo Sung Chun, or in older eras like Vardanian, Kripati or Taranenko. At every competition they were in it to win it. Or the third group, the group that Sun Young Hee fits into. The consistently good but rarely great but if I just keep trying the stars might eventually align and oh wow I just got a gold medal group. And this group is amazing because they reveal stories that you wouldn't otherwise fully know exist until they announce themselves atop the podium. You know the names, watch them lift, but you don't truly appreciate the struggle, the years of hard work, until it pays off. Take Oscar Figueroa for example. How many of you can honestly say that he was a big name in your lives until he finally won that Olympic gold medal in 2016? In the three prior Olympic games in 2004, 8 and 12, he placed fifth, bombed out and then took the silver. In the nine world championships in which he competed, he placed outside of the medals six times and never won. But when he finally and breathtakingly stood on the top of the podium in Rio, he was finally illuminated from the backdrop. His failures, bomb outs and fourth and fifth place finishings suddenly became notable stories in an overarching hero's tale rather than unknown events in an athlete's career. And that's what I love about Sun Young Hee. Her story has remained relatively unknown within weightlifting. Her training sessions, including this one that I didn't even film, it was Nick who filmed it, have been essentially just that of any other weightlifter. But for 10 years, Sun Young Hee has been competing at a world-class level, building the story, the part of the narrative that you need to become a hero, but also the part that, if you don't get the gold medal, will disappear unknown into the weightlifting ether. Her previous placings at international events went bomb out, 4th, 7th, bomb out, 7th, 6th, 2nd, 8th, 8th, 2nd, 3rd, 2nd. A long journey climbing from the bottom of the A group to the top. The story of the journey essentially lies locked away until, boom, three days after this training session, and she becomes world champion, the strongest woman in the world that year. There really is a thin line between madness and genius. During this session, Sun Young Hee's coach kept telling Nick, you are filming the world champion. She will beat all other women. She is the best weightlifter in the super heavyweight category. You are witnessing history. And when he said it, it sounded mad, but three days later, in retrospect, it sounded like the prophecy of a genius. Perhaps madness and genius are not separate, but instead one and the same. As Aristotle said, there is no great genius without a touch of madness. And that seems to be the case in weightlifting. A lot of these weightlifters who we see succeed are, truth be told, a little bit mad. And until the gold medals rain down on them, they're viewed as more mad than they are genius. When Shi Young yelled before and during every lift as a youth athlete and just part of the national squad, he was seen, by his accounts, as somewhat mad. When Kuo Sung Chun believed as an adult that she could switch sports, retrain as a weightlifter, and become the most dominant weightlifter of the last Olympic quad, that belief was a little bit mad. And when, after totaling 473 kilos in 2016, Lasher said that he was aiming to surpass 500 kilos, that was simply laughed at by most as a possibility, myself included. A 220 kilo snatch was madness, and so was 225 kilos, and so too currently is 230 kilos. But now Lasher, she, and Quo are genius. 
When Oscar Figueroa, after failing to win three Olympic Games and injuring himself beyond belief, decided to continue on the golden path that so far had led him nowhere, he was thought of by many as mad. Surely it's time to retire. But in 2016 in Rio, he was the most sensible of them all, a genius who could see into the future. And so when Sun Young Hee, training alone with a coach, 10 years an international weightlifter, barely meddling at continental competitions, declared with absolute sincerity and a certain amount of absoluteness that we were filming a world champion, there certainly was a feeling of madness. But that madness now is looked at with rose-tinted glasses as the words of a genius. An incredible career was had by Sun Young Hee. She kept showing up, from bombing out at the 2011 IWF Junior World Championships to winning the 2021 Senior World Championships, she and her coach maintained belief. And this story was only really illuminated because of that gold medal. But really, how could they have known that this year the stars would align? To some degree, there is indeed luck involved. Li Wen Wen could have lifted and won her openers, Emily Campbell could have made her final lift, and so, did the madness become genius because of this luck, or are madness and genius one and the same? Perhaps it is the belief that within it includes a certain amount of genius. For all the weightlifters who have this belief that they can win but for whom the stars never truly aligned, are they just mad? Or does the genius lie within the belief? You can grab a South Korea top at weightliftinghouse.com. The link is down below and don't forget to like and subscribe.